is how we end up Shades of blue and gray I feel just like an empty bottle My dreams are on delay I just want to climb on top of a hill And throw it all away, away Take me far away before my mind spins off And I am all derailed Good morning, beautiful people! Welcome back to Liu, Live Everything in Wonder, and welcome back to our minivan Luigi! Okay, for the ones that don't know us, this is the minivan that we converted in this, five weeks. Yes, this summer. Last summer, we have been traveling in Italy for two months and a half, exploring especially the south of Italy. Then we were in lockdown again. Yeah. It's nice to be back with our little van. With our little home on wheels. We have everything we need. We have the sink, we have the tanks, we have our bed, slide out bed, the fridge, uh, the toilet, power station, some storage. We have a video of the tour of the van. If you want to check it out, uh, click up here. As you can see, we have still a lot of snow. We just went to do a little trip with Luigi to see if it's working fine. And how it copies with the snow. Now let's start from the beginning because we have already the van and let's see what we have done yesterday in Torino. Let's go back in time. Good morning, beautiful people. We left Lucky Land and now where are we, Sarah? We have a great news super news we are the sony assistant shop and we are going to pick up our camera finally after uh, <sighs> one month over one month that we are waiting and we are so happy to have our camera back it was crazy they had to change a part uh, then they figured out that the part wasn't com compatible mm -hmm. because we bought uh, the camera in america and here we are in europe so they had to ship it uh, to P Paris. First stop today is to pick up the camera. Let's go. <laughs> Finally. I'm so happy. Now we need to go through all the settings again because it's, they said that it's kind of new. Like they keep the camera, but they change the memory, they change the lens, they change the software. The software. Now it's a European, so we have to change all the settings. Yeah. But we have our camera back. I'm so happy to see you here. <laughs> you look amazing, camera. <laughs> Let me try if the zoom is working. Oh yes, it's uh, working. Oh. And now, second stop will include Luca's look. Let's go to a barber shop. This was the 2015 was the day I met Sara before meeting Sara. This was a beard meetup in 2015. 24 October 2015. <laughs> the day I met Sara. Yeah, I remember you with the huge perfect beard, beard the huge.
Here we are, the new Luca. <laughs> the new look of the new Luca. Beautiful. Let us know in the comments what do you think about my new look. I approve. Sarah approves, yeah. so that's what matters, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> do I look like a decent man? <laughs> You always look like a decent man. Okay, so now it's time to ruin everything with the mask. <laughs> Let's go. Now we stop here at the house of the, the grandfather of uh, Luca. We are at Nono's house because uh, we will be donating some books. We'll be donating some clothes to Luca's brother, Luca's dad. Ciao, how are you? <laughs> Good. I, I'm here with my mask going to my father's home. The old elevators. Yeah, wood elevator. We received some books from Nonno. Yes, and uh, we are willing to donate it uh, to a library. Uh, Yes, library? to the public library of the municipality we are living in, of the little village, because the community will appreciate some books. And here we go. So we need to collect them now. Yeah, we brought some some luggage with us. The community of people that are reading books still in this little village is quite big. The audience. They are looking for, for books to read because the, the books are pretty expensive. And there are not so many people now reading books, so yeah. it's good to have places where you can just get a book and read it without needing buying it. Okay, you have these books to collect. These books. Plenty of them. <laughs> These bags and these luggage are full of books. Now we will load Sarah's car, the Polina, and then we are going to the mechanic to pick up Luigi finally. And let's hope that it's working out now. We arrived at the mechanic, now I'm waiting for Luca to see if Luigi is okay and we can drive home with him again. Oh, 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 who is back on the road? Luigi is back on the road! Is working? Yeah, it looks like it's going better. What did it change? The, the piece, the part, uh, he changed the brand uh, because uh, if this is the second part uh, he changed, uh, new, and it's not working. So he changed the brand. Uh, so this is a new brand, uh, it's a higher quality, and uh, it looks that it's working. We will see the highway. Okay, finger crossed. Let's go. Here we go. All the way Gino. I'm really happy. New camera. Luigi on the road again. We're heading back to Luckland. Everything okay? Yeah. How does Luigi behave? Good, I find yeah. it's working. Mm -hmm. Working well. It's still heavy, a little bit heavy coming up uh, heels. We still have everything inside, so we'll be making some uh, upgrades uh, and we will be installing something uh, pretty soon in Luigi. So stay tuned. We arrived at the public library where we will donate the books. The, the books will be at disposal of for the community, children that are going to school, adults, everyone. Everyone that would like to, to use them. Yeah. 
and also we have other 50 items uh, in some bags uh, back here that we are donating today as well. Okay, let's go inside. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. This is done. Now off we go for the other five bags that we have in the car. We made it. Thank you, Rossella. Rossella, she brought us some typical cookies from this area. Yes, yeah, similar to the cookies, the Savoyardi that we, uh, we used to, to make the tiramisu. Today, guys, there were almost 20 degrees Celsius, but tomorrow the forecast is ice and snow again. This is the view from the back. Super easy and it's comfortable because we can open the doors all the way to the side, this one and this one. Here we have our stove to use for coffee in the morning and for cooking and this really cool closet that we have built to fit perfectly in the van. Everything that we built in here was studied and thought to fit perfectly in the van because it's small and yeah, we had the nice exotic touch of the wallpaper because we want to to bring a piece of South America, Central America with us. And it's all handmade by us. Yeah, and we have here our motto inside, La Vita e Bella. We missed the accent, yeah. <laughs> we need to stick it back there. That means uh, life is beautiful. It's the way that we end our video every time with life is beautiful, La Vita e Bella. We start the video with uh, good morning beautiful people and then we end uh, with uh, Life is beautiful, la vita yeah. bella. And uh, this uh, becomes a full bed uh, where we can sleep uh, the both of us. Yeah, it's one meter and 30, so it's not huge, but it's okay. We need to do some improvements in the van, so we will do this in the next weeks. So stay with us and you will see what we will change in the van. Just back in Liu kitchen ready to prepare dinner together. Today we are gonna try a new recipe always with one of our favorite ingredients eggplants. After the great success of the eggplant fan thank you for all the pictures that you send us and please keep sharing your recipe with us on Instagram, Facebook or comment on YouTube sending us email we truly appreciate it. So today we're gonna prepare eggplant loaf. Let's see the ingredients for this amazing recipe. Two eggplants, fresh basil, 50 grams of stale bread, one egg, some cheese, I'm using provola and mozzarella, some garlic, salt, 
extra virgin olive oil, 50 grams of breadcrumbs and 100 grams of grated parmesan cheese. The first thing we need to do is to cut the eggplants in slices and we will put here on this plate we will sprinkle with some salt so we will eliminate the bitterness of the eggplants. After 30 minutes you will notice that the eggplant released the bittery water. Perfect. Now we cut our eggplants. In a pan we put two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and one slice of garlic and we will cook them for 20 minutes. They need to become really soft. If you see that they will stick to the pan you will add some water. You can also boil the eggplants if you prefer but this version will be more tasty. tasty. Okay guys, after 20-25 minutes, this is what we would like to see. Our eggplants are cooked and they are soft. I can squeeze them easily with my wood spoon. Now we'll put our eggplants in this bowl and we'll wait at 20-30 minutes because we want them to cool down. So they will sit here for a while. The first step when our eggplants are cold enough is to get rid of this water slash oil. I will put here because we can use this when our recipe is cooked. Because it's delicious. But we don't want this water now. So for now we will remove it. Yeah. Just like that. Just like this. <laughs> Just like that. You squeeze. The eggplants and okay. Now that our eggplants are ready, we can add the other ingredients, which are breadcrumbs, grated parmesan, one egg. And then I have some stale bread here. You can soak in water or in milk. I will use some water, just like this. You squeeze and you add it. Like this. Some fresh basil. If you like, you can add also parsley, pepper. No. On a piece of oven paper, I sprinkle some breadcrumbs. We put everything here. And we would like to flat it because the next step will be adding the cheese. Better if it's a string cheese. It is a mix of mozzarella and provola. It's about 200 grams. You can put less, you can put more. Maybe this is too much. I think I would like this. <laughs> I'm already enjoying it. Put all the cheese. Put all, all the cheese. It's too, this is Put too much, guys. I love cheese, guys. Yes, but too much is not good for. I cannot close then the the loaf. Die, try. Die, 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 die. Die, die, die. You Just can do it. Just a little bit it. more. Un pochino in più, dai. Dai che ci sta tutto, vedi? Okay. Perfetto, c'è stato. It's important that you close the loaf good, otherwise the cheese will melt and you will lose all the cheese in the oven. This is just for love. 
I'm doing this because I need to add all the cheese for Luca. Yes, guys, if ours doesn't turn out well, it's my fault because I no, insisted. No, it's okay. It will be great. More I think it will be okay. Whoa! And then you close it very good. In the both ends? Yeah. Otherwise, the cheese will explode. I think it will explode anyway because yeah. I made Sara put too much cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we decided uh, that we will put it in here. It will be a little bit harder to cook, uh, but at least uh, the cheese uh, will not go, will not, you know, fall in oh, here. Everywhere. Yeah. Now the last step: some breadcrumbs. So we can have a crust and some extra virgin olive oil. Too much just. And our loaf will go in the oven 180 degrees Celsius for one hour. Bye bye. This is the result. We'll let that cool down for some minutes before having dinner. <laughs> Time to taste it. Oh, it's super hot. A lot of cheese. Maybe too much. But never too much cheese. <laughs> Uh, this one or the lentis one? This one, because of the cheese. No, both of them a different taste. Yeah. Wow, guys, we got so many great news. Uh, we got Luigi back and it's working. We got our camera back and it's working. I had a haircut and beard cut and it's working. <laughs> Dinner was delicious. What can I have more? I don't know. Maybe an appointment. <laughs> and a... Yeah, guys, I got an appointment for my migraine at the best hospital in Milan. Scheduled for the 4th of February, so I can't wait. I'm really happy. The doctor answered me. Where have you been? And I say, eh, away, where? And I say, eh, I traveled from Alaska to Argentina in a camper. What? Are you crazy? I need to see you! <laughs> Please come, come! So, I feel really lucky and I can't wait to go and to have a check and to see if we can find a solution that it's working better than the medication that I, I'm taking right now. Even about the diet, because a lot of you suggest me to eliminate coffee, to eliminate uh, cheese, and a lot of other stuff. I don't eat a lot of cheese. I don't drink a lot of coffee. I don't eat chocolate. I don't drink. I drink alcohol probably five times a year. She and tried uh, yeah. to do the any kind of diet yes. that you are suggesting. She already tried doing that and... Uh... I could try again. Why not? I try everything in my life. So let's see, you know, the body is changing, you are changing. We'll keep you posted, guys. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, please share to us as mentioned the thumbs up button on this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video about Liu, Live Everything and Wonder. And please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It's free and it's the easiest way to support us. And guys, please take a moment and share with the people you love, with the people you like, with your family, friends, our videos, because we would like to grow. So, please help. <laughs> the Italian words for today's video are... Buona notizia. Good news. Libro. Book. Biblioteca. Library. Buona notizia. Good news. Libro. Book. Biblioteca library. We love you, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us. We will see you on the next one and remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. Rain. Okay. 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 And here we are, back at Lucky...
Ma eccolo, lo sapevo! Non mi ricordo già più. Click up here, dal lato giusto. No. Watch the video of the tour of the van. Click up no, here. È troppo alto. Ah, ok, ok. 